The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for attending today. This is Mark Beauchamp and it's great to have you on the call today and we really, really are excited about having you join us for our webinar on Rejection Proof Networking. Uh, I'm really excited about having Mitch Axelrod with us today. I was originally going to open the seminar up to my bank card toolbox members only but Mitch has really got a heavy speaking schedule, so I wasn't sure when we might have him back uh, to present again. So I opened it up to my entire newsletter list. And uh, many, many, many of you are signing on right now. We, we once again really appreciate you attending today. A uh, little bit about Mitch. I've personally known him for several years. Uh, I've actually participated in several of his programs, and I've used him in the past as my mentor and coach, and we work together a lot in a program that he developed called the Rainmakers. So trust me, you are really in for a treat today. Let me tell you a little bit about Mitch, and then I'll turn it over to him and he can start the webinar. Mitch Axelrod is the founder of Axelrod & Associates. It's a business consulting firm. And Axelrod Learning, he's a publisher, which is a publishing company that focuses on business, life skills training, workshops, and material development. He's been consulting and speaking since 1978. Mitch has presented to more than 3,500 live seminars, workshops, lectures, keynotes, webinars, and clinics on business, sales, and marketing. He's trained over one million people, and he's the world's leading authority in playing and winning the new game of business. He's also appeared in national publications, including American Express, Your Company, National Underwriter, Selling Advantage, Executive Sales Briefing, Selling Power, which is one of my favorites, and Professional Speaker. He has shared the platform with some of the best speakers and experts of our time, and I'm sure many of you have listened to or purchased programs from these people, people like Dennis Waitley, Brian Tracy, Jay Abraham, Michael Gerber, T. Harv Eker, Mark Victor Hansen, Dan Kennedy, and dozens and dozens of others. Mitch's book, The New Game of Business, which I've personally read, is a breakthrough playbook for business, and his training has changed the sales game for the last 20 years. So thank you, Mitch, for participating with us today. I know my subscribers and the people that I work with a lot on a daily basis, are really going to enjoy what you've got for them today. So it is all yours. Well, thanks so much, Mark. You know, the running joke back where I come from originally is in Brooklyn, New York, is all of that what you just said, and $2 will get you on the subway. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I appreciate the introduction. Uh, it's really a delight. We've been trying to put this together now for quite a few months, and uh, I'm really thrilled to be here. And, and uh, you know, the promise that we're making here today, uh, and we will fulfill that promise, is to show you how to eliminate rejection in business and in life and do it forever, literally. We call this rejection-proof networking, and we, we share it now. Oh, I've shared it with hundreds of thousands of people, um, and we're going to show you how to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime about anything. And I'm, I'm thrilled because... Uh, over the course of my lifetime, uh, I don't know that there's a bigger obstacle to people's success than uh, overcoming what we would call the fear of rejection. And so let me, uh, let me tell you a little bit about why you want to stay till the end of this, uh, because we're really going to go a little bit even beyond how to eliminate rejection. I'm going to share with you a couple of strategies that are going to show you how to convert more sales. Uh, attract the right kinds of people that you are best suited to serve, and more than likely add ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of new business to your business this next coming year. Um, and because time is precious and life is precious, and we don't want to waste a minute of it, um, and trial and error is too long and costly, uh, I want to jump right in to this program. So, uh, the the number one obstacle to personal and business success that I've discovered, and this is just not my opinion, this is the opinion of a whole lot of, of in-the-know people, and more importantly, 
the people that I've worked with over the years, as you said, over one million people I've had the privilege to train, and I would tell you that the fear of rejection uh, is probably the number one obstacle to personal and business success. And, and in the context of this conversation today, we're going to talk about how to get rid of that rejection, and then we're going to show you how to apply it to what we call the new game of selling. Uh, and, and the reality is that no matter what you do for a living, you're selling. And, and selling is maybe the most undervalued, yet um, really most important business skill that you can acquire, whether you're a, a sole practitioner and operating you know, as a business of one, or you work for a, mega a multinational corporation. Um, selling, master your selling, your ability to attract, convert, keep, and multiply customers is maybe the number one skill, the most in-demand skill of all. And so today we're going to show you a couple of things. We're going to start with uh, how to get rid of rejection, and, and then we're going to segue into a couple of other specific models that I want you to really hang in there for. And, and so let me just give you a quick idea as to um, what all this started with, right, how it all came about. And, um, if you're like me, uh, you're not a big fan of rejection. Uh, I don't know too many people, Mark, in my entire life who are like, hey, I eat rejection for breakfast, you know. Uh, right. There's not too many people like that. And, and interestingly enough, uh, back in 1978, I started in business, so I'm in business coming on 34 years. Actually, Halloween will be 34 years. And I started in business, and I made 5,000 cold calls in my first job. Um, I did not make a single sale. And I made a promise to myself that I would never make another cold call again, and I would find a way to eliminate rejection forever. All right, and, and here's the first distinction I really want to make, all right, because most of us have a fear of rejection. Today, we're not going to get rid of the fear. We're not going to talk about the fear because the fear is primal. It, it creates a fight or flight or freeze response, all right, and it's very costly and time-consuming and difficult and sometimes painful to try to So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right to the getting rid of the rejection. And what we've discovered, I personally discovered almost 30 years ago when I first developed this, um, and for the hundreds of thousands of people that we've shared it with, if you get rid of rejection, the natural order of things is that you will not fear rejection if you know you absolutely cannot be rejected. And so we're going to focus in on uh, how to get rid of and eliminate the rejection. And this way it will bypass your lizard brain. Your lizard brain won't have a chance to say, no, 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 I'm scared, because you will already know before you engage in a conversation with somebody that you're going to be able to eliminate rejection. It's going to be easy. It's going to be quick. Now it will take some time for you to develop this, and, and the first time you do it won't be as good as the tenth time or the twentieth time or the hundredth time. But my promise to you today is we will give you the magic three-step formula today that will help you eliminate rejection forever. You can use it in your business for sure because I use it every day in my business as to the hundreds of thousands of people we've shared it with. It will help you to start to ask for what you want. You'll see how you can use it to create value in almost every conversation that you have. Uh, you'll be able to begin to monetize opportunities and capitalize on relationships, especially your relationship capital. We all have an enormous amount of relationship capital, and by eliminating rejection, you can turn on almost any single person you have in your network to become a networking resource for you. And one other really important distinction I want to make right off the bat um, is that we're going to focus on the method versus the mindset, all right? Because if we focus on the mindset today to talk about how to get rid of fear, uh, we would never accomplish it in, in one conversation. So I'm going to focus on a very specific method that's cheap, it's easy, it's quick, it's painless, and it's totally risk-free in how you use it. And now you'll be able to use it literally starting today uh, to be able to eliminate rejection in your business, in, in your personal life, and 
who knows, it really applies to almost every aspect of life in general. Okay, so uh, get ready, get a pad, get, get yourself comfortable, uh, because what's going to happen for you today is you're about to transform in a way that will change everything in your business. And I mean everything from the way you language what you do to the way you approach people to maybe what you even put as your value proposition on your websites not in, in your communications. All right. And so let me first set the context. All right. Uh, da Vinci once said that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. I have modeled everything I've done in life and in business after this simple quote by Da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And so what you're going to get here is not complicated. It's not complex. Now it took me decades, literally three decades ago, I, I first invented this, but it's taken me decades to master it, to simplify it, to hone it, to, to improve it, all right? And, and so let me start with how it came about and why you want to begin to look at every single person as a networking resource for you. And when you begin to get the ability, the confidence, the competence, and the commitment that you can talk to anywhere, anyone, anywhere, anytime about anything, you're going to start to maximize your relationship capital. You're actually going to cause others to take action on your behalf. And that's a really important distinction that we're going to make here between uh, what we call rejection-proof networking and your traditional elevator speech. All right, you know, you're on the 15th floor, you're in the elevator, you've got to tell somebody what you do. Very important distinction we're going to make is that elevator speech does not cause others to take action on your behalf. Rejection-proof networking is designed to be simple, clear, unique, distinct, and succinct enough so that other people can act on your behalf. All right? And that's a huge, huge distinction here. Uh, so we have to make it flexible. We have to make it transferable, and we have to make it very practical. So where did this all start? 1982, uh, 30 years ago, I was in the, quote, financial planning business. And I had hit the wall. I was in business about four years. And I decided that either I'm going to be in or I'm going to be out. But I was about 27, 28 years old. I didn't know anybody who had really big money. My friends didn't have a lot of money. And so if I stayed in the business the way I was doing it, I would have been out of the business in a year. So I said, over the next year, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. And I called it Take a Millionaire to Lunch. And, and here's the criteria. If you had more money than me, I'm buying lunch, right? Uh, and, and I decided that the only way I was really going to break into the kind of market that I was going to make money, real money in this business, is if I was very clear about what it is that I was doing, why I was doing it, and who I was looking for. And so I developed this little um, pitch, if you will. And I said, after the lunch and we got to, down to business, I said, okay, Mark, uh, let me tell you three things about why we're here. And then you can decide if any of what I said makes sense and if you feel that there's some way in which we can take the next step forward. And I said, let me tell you what I do. What I do is I help people transport them from point A to point B financially. My objective is to help you become financially independent before you're 65 years old. Okay? Why I do it is for two reasons. Number one is because the statistics at that time, this is 1978, were appalling. Only 5% of all Americans ever achieved this magical state of being called financial independence. And I thought, my goodness, people work 40, 45, almost 50 years of their lives, get to 65, and they can't even continue to live a lifestyle without having to work to do so. And so I said, why I do it is because I want to be one of the top 5%, and I want to help as many people get into the top 5% as possible. And here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone who has $25,000 of investable assets, 
who would like to get the same return on investment that banks and insurance companies get when they take your money and give you at that time 5 or 10%. Well, at that time, actually, there were 20% money markets, but that was an aberration. Essentially, the model was very simple. You give your money to the bank, they give you 4 or 5%, they invest your money, and they get 12 to 16% on, on your money, and they keep the difference. And I said, I'm looking for people with $25,000 of investable assets who want to get the same return on investment that banks and insurance companies get. Okay? Then I said to them, who do you know? Where should I go? Within one year, my income went from 16000 to 32000 That was 1982 to 1983. 1983 to 1984, I did it again. Uh, my income went from 32000 to over $100,000. So in two years, predominantly using what has now become rejection-proof networking, but at the time was called Take a Millionaire Lunch, I went from $16,000 to $100,000 of income, and my business grew from that point on. Now, to show you that this was not a fluke, all right, in 1990, I did it again. In 1988, I shifted out of financial planning, and I got into full-time consulting and speaking and training. And in 1990, my speaking fee was, $89.90, was $500 for half a day. By 1994, my speaking fee was $5,000 for 90 minutes. I did the very same thing I did in 1982 by taking the rejection proof networking, creating my statement of here's what I do, here's why I do it, here's who I'm looking for, and I went out and talked to the five top people on my list. And one of those people opened a door to an insurance company, and within 30 days of transitioning, I had a $2,500 retainer. Within one year, I was earning six figures again. And within three to four years, my speaking fee went up 10 times. This rejection-proof networking works. And when you apply it, you will build unbreakable competence, confidence because you will know without a question of a doubt, you can talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime about anything and never be rejected. You will build unshakable competence because you will get better and better and better at communicating your value proposition and what it is that people can do to help you get what you want, and it will cause you to create an unstoppable commitment. Because I'll tell you, when I learned the, the secret to eliminating rejection, my fear dropped dramatically, my energy levels went up, I became able to talk to anybody, anytime, anywhere, um, and everything changed for me. And so what I want to do now is I want to share with you this powerful but simple formula that's going to transform your life forever and help you to eliminate rejection uh, and network your way to success. So uh, this is where I really want you to begin to pay attention to the specifics because there's some nuances here that are very, very different than anything you've seen before. And as I said earlier, uh, my yardstick, my measurement model is da Vinci's quote, is it simple enough? that literally a sixth grader could understand it, convey it, communicate it, and actually do it. All right? And, um, and so, uh, Mark, if there's anything you want to jump in and, and say before we... Yeah, I was just thinking because a, a, a lot of the people within our industry are still cold calling just like you did your 5,000 calls, and, and I've got some experience with that as well, and I, I don't ever want to have to do that again, I can tell you, but... Uh, you know, a lot of our business is generated through cold call, and when you mention that word fear, you know, when they don't have the confidence and they feel like they're going to be rejected, it causes call reluctance. And a lot of the guys that we bring in the industry uh, go out, bang the streets for two or three weeks, and then they're gone, gone to another business or they, they've left the, left the company they're working with. So I think there's some real value here if we can show those people what you're going to do, but just, you know, to eliminate a lot of that fear of rejection, and that gives them that, that confidence to go out and make those calls either on the phone or face-to-face -face or, or however they're marketing their business today. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because especially for those folks who do have to make cold calls uh, or who are calling people who might be highly resistant, let's say, um, or in some way who 
um, are skeptical. You know, today everybody's skeptical. It's like, okay, yeah, you know, looking at you with one eye open and one eye closed. Um, so yeah, for, if you're making cold calls, if you're approaching people, even if you're going to a warm market, and especially if you have a network or a circle of influence that you have not tapped into yet or you've been hesitant because you're not sure how to approach them, you know, you don't want them to feel like you're pitching or selling to them, but you're not exactly sure how to mobilize your centers of influence in your network, this is going to really, really put a charge in you. So, um, so thanks for sharing that. And, and so let me now give you uh, the three-part rejection-proof networking formula. And if you remember what I said a few minutes ago about uh, approaching people with take a millionaire to lunch approach, and you listened to what I said to them, you would have heard me communicate three basic pieces of information. And in my estimation, there is no greater investment of time, money, and resources you can make than to get absolutely crystal clear and be able to articulate with crystal clarity three phrases or three very specific things. First is what I do. Second is why I do it. And then third, which is what's glaringly missing from the elevator strategy, which is who I'm looking for. Uh, so let's, let's take each one of these, break them down a little bit, um, and talk a little bit about what, what is involved in creating each of these phrases in a way that you can say them to somebody and that person can instantly understand what it is you do, we do it, who you're for, and then be able to support you by introducing you to somebody that they know. Okay? Now, first distinction in terms of what you do, and, and this could be also what you want. So if it's in business, it's what you do, but if it's personal, you could say this is what I want. Okay, but let's let's stick to business for this conversation. Very important distinction. When I ask people what they do, most of the time they tell me what they sell, right? And, and it's important to know, we talk a lot about this in the new game of selling, which is where eliminate rejection actually is, is kind of the first phase of the, the new game of selling, is when you talk to people about what you do, don't use labels. Don't say, I'm an accountant, or I'm a, I'm a merchant. Uh, vendor or I sell bank card services and you can say that but the most powerful thing you can do when somebody says what do you do is to come up with a phrase that points to the results and outcomes that you produce so for example back in 1991 when I had made the transition into full-time consulting and training and speaking I went back to a client and I said hey you know you have consultants coming in and out of here all day long why did you hire me? Why me of all these high-powered people? He said, Mitch, you're the only guy who came in here and talked about marketing, sales, and service as one continuous holistic process. He said, nobody else had ever done that before. You're the only person who talks about how to attract, convert, and keep customers, not just attract them or convert them or keep them. And I said, thank you very much. Dinner's on me. First lesson, if you really want to know what you do, don't go into a focus group, don't hide into a conference room with all your people and try to figure out your value proposition or your unique selling proposition. Go back to your clients or your customers and ask them the one single question that will transform your business as well as help you to understand what you really do from the point of view of the customer. And that is, why did you buy from me? We've worked with thousands of small businesses, many Fortune 500s, and as you know, over a million individuals. And 99 out of 100 companies and business people never ask their customers the single, simple, most fundamental question of all, why did you buy from me? Because if you really want to know what you do, just like I found out what I did from my customer, I was able then, when somebody said, Mitch, what do you do? I say, my clients tell me. I help them attract, convert, and keep more customers more profitably. Which of those would you like to do? 
or as the iteration of my what to do statement began to get better and stronger and more expansive, I now also say to people, we can help show you how to produce more top line revenue and bottom line profit quickly with virtually no expense. Okay, that's what I do. Now you'll notice this is framed in the context of the value, benefit, payoff, results, and outcomes that my clients get it's not about my product or service. In 1978, when I first got into financial planning, I was really selling insurance. And um, when somebody came up to me and said, Mitch, you know, what do you do? I didn't want to say I sell life insurance. You know, it was like the fastest way to, to clear out a room is say, hey, I sell life insurance and I'm darn proud of it. And everybody's gone, you know. Um, so I came up with a different Frame. And I said, I'm in the transportation business. I help transport people from point A to point B financially so they could achieve financial independence in their life. Okay? One of the other things that we say now is we help people eliminate rejection forever in 15 minutes or less. Okay? What do you do? How do you say what you do to other people? When somebody says, what do you do, do you kind of stumble and hesitate and stammer because you really haven't conveyed what you do clearly to yourself, let alone, you know, let alone to others? So step one in rejection-proof networking and eliminating rejection forever in business and in life is to get really super clear about what you do and language it and frame it from the point of view of the outcomes, results, and um, and what it is that's in it for your clients that you work with, all right? And so try to avoid labels. You know, you're, you're, not an, you're an accountant, yes, but really what you do is you help people find ways to maximize their tax deductions and keep more of the money that they make and in, in, that they earn. Uh, if you're in a business like, for example, selling merchant services, all right, you can say what everybody else says, or maybe you could say something like, you know, we show people how to help their customers, uh, or we show people how to get more business from their customers by maximizing the value of their merchant relationship. Okay, um, and and so the first thing you want to do to get really clear and eliminate rejection is develop a phrase or a statement of what you do. And I'll leave you with these two words to help guide you as a framework. The first word I gave you was transportation. How do you help transport people from where they are to where they want to be? The second word that can help you frame this out is transformation. How do you help transform people from who they are to who they want to be? And don't overlook the transformational aspect of what you do in terms of how it affects the human being, not just the transportational aspect that helps your customer in business get from point A to point B. Okay? And stay away from words like life coach or consultant or realtor or in your case obviously you know maybe a merchant services. Come up with a phrase and, and again I, I keep coming back to simplicity. If you really want the simple answer go back to five or ten of your customers Ask them the magical question, why did you buy from me? Why did you do business with us? Write down all those answers, call those answers, and you'll get a much stronger statement of what you do that you can begin to hone and refine over time, but at least you'll have a better statement of what you do that connects more directly with the people that you serve because it's customer language, it's customer driven. Okay? Hey, Mitch. Yeah. I just had one comment, and I think, uh, what the trap that a lot of our guys get into in our industry is they they lead with price you know and this business has become such a commodity it's it's gotten to where a lot of guys are selling uh, on price and who's got the lowest price and and what you said draws a real clear distinction about you know what value can you provide those clients and I think that's very, very important that the guys that are leading with price or saying the same thing that all the other guys are saying out in the field to talk to merchants is, you know, really to share with them uh, exactly what you're saying, you know, what they do and what is the benefit that they bring to the table for these business owners. And 
Uh, I think that was that was great stuff the way that you framed it. So don't sell on price or being the cheapest uh, around. Add that value and come up with these transformational statements. Yeah, that's. I'm really glad you interjected that. And and to recognize when you get away from thinking about your product or service, which we all tend to do, and you walk in the shoes and you sit in the seat of the buyer, what is it that the buyer wants? Uh, sure, the buyer wants to save money. Uh, your customer wants to save money, but really your customer wants a result and outcome. And in the end, your customer wants more business. So how can you help your customer get more business in what you do so you can avoid the price conversation and, and when and if you have it, even if you're not the cheapest, you're still in the game because of that added value. Um, and everybody wants to know what is that added value. And if you don't have any added value, truly you are a commodity. So, yep. so thank you so much for, for uh, interjecting that. Uh, now, that leads to the second part of this process, which is why do you do it? Now, um, there's a huge movement afoot today for people to tell their life story. You know, let me tell you my story. And story is very important. We're probably at a time where, where story is more important than ever as a point of distinction in how you communicate why you do what you do. But, you know, the truth be told, you don't really want to hear a long, boring story of mine. You don't want to hear a 15-minute bio. You don't want me to show you my boats and my Mercedes and all that stupid stuff that people tend to do because that really doesn't connect with you, right? So why do you do what you do? This is a very important question that a lot of people are asking, and particularly they're asking it as a point of distinction that if you're in a commodity business, then why should I buy from you versus somebody else? And is there something more that you bring to the game? If you recall, I said back in 1978, why, or 1982 when I developed this, I did what I did because I wanted to be in the top 5% financially. And I wanted to help as many people get to the top 5% financially as I could possibly help over the 20, 30 years that I could work. That was a very powerful why for me, and I was able to express it in 30 seconds or less. So the part of this that we talk about why you do what you do is not designed for you to give a long five or ten minute story about your background and your history and what led you to where you are today. You want a powerful, emotional, 30 to 60 second, why I do this is because, all right? And very often people subtly or, or overtly are going to be listening for why you do what you do because that may be the distinguishing characteristic that helps them decide in your favor versus somebody else. Because at the end of the day, anybody who doesn't buy for commodity reasons is ultimately also buying the person who's selling. And in the New Game of Selling, we talk a lot about this, which is why we spend so much time when we help people develop their rejection-proof networking statements is really spend some time developing why you do what you do. All right? So come up with a, a 30 to 60-second second statement that really frames out and, and connects with people emotionally. And, and you can tell a little story. Just keep it to 60 seconds or less. Otherwise, you're going to get people to disengage from you. All right? So step two in rejection-proof networking is why I do what I do is because fill in the blank, all right? Now, step three, and this is where I discovered why this formula is so powerful and why it works almost every time, even if you screw it up. So I'm going to share, before I give you the who I'm looking for piece, let me share with you one of my mantras that uh, I developed because I'm such a perfectionist. Now, 15 years ago, I was really stuck, and I had to come up with a way for me to, to stop trying to perfect everything and just get going. And so I decided to chant this mantra, imperfect action beats perfect inaction every single time. Imperfect action beats perfect inaction every single time. If you wait until you have this perfect, you could wait another three to five years because the truth is you'll never get this perfect. 
it's a constant, evolving, improving, um, enhancing process. So I didn't wait until I got it perfect. I went out and said what I said in 1982, and I took a millionaire to lunch. And every single time I used this, I got a little better, and I got a little better. And what I realized, what distinguished the, this from the elevator pitch is this one third step, who I'm looking for. Do you know and can you articulate with crystal clarity who you are best suited to serve, who you're looking for? Remember what I said. I was looking for people with $25,000 of investable assets who wanted to get the return on investment that banks and insurance companies got when they gave invested your money. Okay. Now, who are we looking for? We're looking for companies and individuals who want to win the new game of selling, who want to change the game. Uh, who want to convert more browsers to buyers, who want to eliminate rejection forever in 15 minutes, who want to attract, qualify, convert, keep, and multiply customers in their business. These are the kinds of people we're looking for. So essentially, we're looking for players. We're looking for people who want to get in the game, who are serious about the game, who want to play the game at the highest level, and who want to know how to get access to everyone that you need to get what you want. That's who we're looking for. All right, now, if you fit the description of somebody we're looking for, you could put your hand up and say, Mitch, that's me. I'm a player. I'm somebody you're looking for. And in that case, my rejection-proof networking of strategy hit gold. Because not only did it eliminate rejection, by the way I languaged what I do, what I do, and who I'm looking for, you saw yourself in that person and you put your hand up and say, maybe me. But what if maybe not you? What if you're not really looking to boost your top line revenue and bottom line profit? What if you, you feel like you're, you're doing fine on attracting, converting, keeping, and multiplying customers? What if you don't care about eliminate re rejection forever? Guess what? I've just told you what I do, why I do it, who I'm looking for. My next comment or question to you would be, Mark, who do you know? Where should I go? Who do you know? Where should I go? Okay, And it's that distinction in this third step of the process that changes everything. When you begin to get clear about who you're looking for, when you know who you're best suited to serve, when you can describe that person as vividly and, and pictorially as you possibly can or in detail, you can now begin to mobilize everybody in your world to help you find who you're looking for. Or in the case of something you want, what you're looking for. Okay, And so begin to develop this strategy and a clear articulation of who it is you're looking for. Who are the kinds of people who are, these three words are critical, ready, willing, and committed. I'm looking for people who are ready, willing, and committed to play the new game of selling, eliminate rejection forever, boost top line revenue and bottom line profit, attract, convert, keep, and multiply customers in their business who want to be real game changers and lead their field and their industry. That's who I'm looking for. So my question to you here now, as we kind of give you the wrap up of this very simple but incredibly powerful strategy is, who are you looking for? Can you define it? Can you clearly articulate it? That's what your assignment should be. As a result of this first part of our program here is begin to define what you do from the terms of the customer, develop a statement 30 to 60 seconds of why you do it personally, and then become very clear by articulating with a real specific avatar in mind, if you will, who it is that you're looking for, who you're best suited to serve. And now you could take these three phrases, go out, talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime about anything, and literally, you can turn everyone into a networking resource and access anyone and anything you need to get what you want. So there you have it, the three-step formula, simple, powerful, incredibly useful, practical, um, and it works. So what do you think about that, Mark? I think it's outstanding. I mean, uh where I've seen people, and we do this in some of the trainings that I work with agents as well, a lot of them have, have might even defined what they do 
uh, and give their value proposition, but that missing piece that you talked about, who they're looking for, uh, isn't communicated. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's an excellent way to go about uh, networking and, and trying to find out who your perfect candidates are, your perfect targets are. And, and it, I'm sure it's the same in other industries that you work with, Mitch, but you know, a lot of guys just think numbers will take care of themselves. They just walk out the door and they, they, or get on the phone and they just make more calls or make more cold calls or pick up the phone and make more prospecting calls. And if, you know, if you can really refine this and perfect this, guys, uh, you'll not only have to make less calls, but your conversion ratios, your engagement with your potential clients will raise so high and your referrals will uh, skyrocket and go out the roof. So I think it's a great, great concept and I think it's a great way for them to go about business. And I'd sit down and what I do is I write this stuff out. I tend to take information in visually really well, but when I look at it and I write it down and then I speak it, I really bring that in into it, and I really am able to adapt it and put it into my work life. So I'd certainly encourage a lot of you to spend some quiet time and, and take some notes, like Mitch said, and really refine these three steps. And I think you'll be on the way to success. So, so I mentioned early on I wanted to everybody to hang in there because we're going to give them a couple of, uh, of, of, of additional ways in which they can actually take the rejection proof um, and begin to actually apply it. And we'll have a model I'm going to share with you. It's really powerful that will help you attract the right kinds of people once you do come up with your rejection proof statements. Uh, but I do want to take a quick segue here and, and just spend a minute introducing the new game of selling because uh, the new game of selling is a radically different way to not only build relationships with people, but to approach people in a way that they're not only comfortable, but they like being approached. It's, it's really the only selling program of its kind, to my knowledge, that was built from the customer on out. And you can become really great at rejection-proof networking, which fits kind of in a, into the combination of step one and step two. You know, winning the inner game of selling is very important. Um, and it's a big part of winning the new game of selling because your outside skills could be great, but if you don't have a good mindset, if you're not motivated, um, if you don't believe and have confidence in yourself, uh, then no matter how many calls you make, you're never going to be as effective as you can. Now, the new game of selling, what we've given you here in Rejection Proof Networking, fits into step two, which is to attract true believers in your business. Why is it so important for you to identify who you're best suited to serve well, because if you know who you're best suited to serve, you can stop trying to convert the heathens of the world and you can attract the, the true believers. Uh, once you attract them, then you've got to qualify them for state of readiness. And what I observe and what I see over the past 25 years that I've been training is a lot of people waste a lot of time with people who are not qualified. And they don't have a model or a formula that can qualify somebody in five or ten minutes so that you don't waste so much time with tire kickers. And I would bet if you go back over the past six months or a year in your business, my guess is that you probably have, if you could add up the hours and then multiply it by your hourly rate, I gotta believe you've, you've probably, like I have in some cases, and I teach this stuff, you know what I mean? So it's, 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 you have to really be rigorous. I'll bet you've invested or, or, or spent thousands and thousands of dollars in talking to people who weren't really qualified. And so in the new game of selling, we put a very strong emphasis on, on two models on how to qualify a person's state of readiness. Then you've got to convert the browsers into buyers. Because step two and step three are expense. They're marketing investment, qualifying expense. When you convert browsers into buyers, that's when you turn expense into revenue and profit. Then you've got to keep customers coming back for more. If you put a whole lot of energy into attracting them and qualifying and converting them, but you don't keep them. They go out in the front door and out the back door. You, you have to keep going over and over and over again. Now, the nice part about the merchant business is when you do get a customer, you want to keep the customer because that's your passive and residual income. As long as they continue to do merchant services over time, you want to really put a strong emphasis on keeping them and then multiply your ROI, which is your return on investment. 
and the new game is selling, we show you a whole bunch of different ways how you can bump and bundle and bargain and borrow and back end and get a multiple return on investment. Um, and then there's the seventh part, which is reactivating past and inactive and dormant customers. A lot of people, uh, companies we talk to, they have this massive customer base or a really good size existing or past customer base, and they don't do anything of real significance because they're so busy attracting, qualify, convert, attract, qualify, convert, they don't realize that the big dollars are in steps five, six, and seven, and how well you keep customers coming back for more, um, how effectively you multiply your ROI, and then how well do you reactivate past inactive and dormant customers. So let me give you one example of how to take rejection-proof networking fit it into the new game of selling to attract the true believers in your business. Um, and I call this going doink, right? Um, doink is not a word, I made it up. And what I realized um, many, many years ago is that if I want to get to the center of the bullseye of who I want to talk to, if I want to reach new markets, if I want to attract new prospects, or if I just want to attract the people I'm best suited to serve, if I walk up to the center of the bullseye and go doink with my dart or arrow, I'm going to get far more value than if I have five or six or eight hits around the outer rings. If you're playing the game of attracting your ideal buyer on the outer rings, this little model right here is going to be worth gold to you. And I'm going, to, I'm going to quickly give you the four critical questions that you want to ask to go doink and hit the center of your bullseye every time so that you can literally walk up rather than standing back a, a mile with a blindfold on trying to hit a moving target. All right? First question is who? And that comes back to the third part of rejection-proof networking, who am I looking for? So. First question of marketing is, who am I suited to serve? Who am I best suited to serve? Who do I want to serve? Um, who is buying what I'm selling? Okay, and get very clear about not just the kind of business, but the kind of person who would really resonate with what you do. The second part is what? What do they want? What do they need? And what do they buy? I've done consulting for big companies, Fortune 500s, IBMs, AT&T, and I've done it for small businesses like my own. And when I ask the question, what do people want, what do people need, what do people buy in your business, very often I get that glazed over puzzled look from people. Right? So it's very important if you want to rejection proof your networking to make sure that you're connecting in the center of the bullseye with what people want, what people need, and what people buy. The third part of this go joint strategy to attract the ideal people you're best suited to serve is to know where are they. Are these people on LinkedIn? Are they on and using social media? Are they down the street from you? Are they national? Are they international? Do you, do you call them? Do you visit them? Where are they? If you're going to go shoot an arrow into the center of the bullseye, you have to know where the bullseye is. Again consult with a lot of companies, work with a lot of people. Uh, when I ask the question, where are your customers, sometimes I get this glazed over look like, what do you mean, where are they? They're everywhere. Well, no, they're not everywhere. They could be everywhere, but where specifically, so you know how to zero in on the target and shoot the, the bullseye right in the center. And then the fourth part of this process is how. How are you going to reach them? All right. Are you going to reach them like we are today with you in a webinar format where we're broadcasting from one location all over the world? Um, are you going to reach them with an email? Are you going to reach them with a video? Are you going to reach them with a personal meeting or a call? How will you reach them to get your message across to add real value so that you can become the voice of choice? And the game plan here is very simple. You want to be in front of the people who are searching for what you have and are ready to buy it now. Okay, let me say that again. You want to be in front of the people who are searching for what you have and are ready to buy it now. I call these people the hungry fish. And what we do with rejection-proof networking is we give you the framework about how to communicate with those people 
and then with the new game of selling, we show you how to hit the bullseye every time by going doink with pinpoint precision to reach and attract those people that you're best suited to serve. And so look at this little go doink model here. Realize that if you combine it with the rejection proof networking, and begin to answer the questions, you know, who am I best suited to serve? What are they buying? What do they need? What do they want? Where are they? And how will I better reach them? You could shoot one arrow into the center of the bullseye um, and, and do far more than you would if you were trying to hit the outer rings. Okay, so there's, there's an example of one of the models in the new game of selling that can help you to better attract the right kinds of people that you're really looking for. Okay. Hey, Mitch, I just had a quick comment on that, and I know we're running out of time here, but if there's one thing uh, for the people on the call today that I see the successful merchant service professionals doing, it's that model that Mitch just, just discussed. They're picking a, a specific vertical, they're becoming an expert in that vertical, and they're serving that market with unique solutions that really add value. So. You know, you don't have to. Uh, every merchant down the street and every strip center is, uh, is not a not a. It's a potential client if you're banging on doors. But if you've got a game plan and you've got specific merchants you're targeting and you've got a bundle of solutions that meet the needs of those merchants, those are the guys that I see that are making six figures and above. So it's really important to take a look at this model and answer these questions. And if you're taking the shotgun approach. Uh, you really need to consider and look, you know, whether it's a mobile solution, a loyalty solution, a gift card solution, e-commerce, whatever your particular skill set warrants is picking those verticals and giving them that, that custom solution and you, your, sky, your income will skyrocket uh, in a matter of no time. Great stuff. Well, thank you, Mark. And, and um, what I want to do is, is before we open this up to questions um, and comments, what I would love to do is uh, I would love to spend a few minutes now to talk about um, what now and what next, all right? Uh, I've been selling my whole life, and I can tell you clearly, and I'm sure everybody who's listening to this knows this to be true for you, that when you improve your sales mastery just a little bit, if you apply rejection-proof networking, if you apply the go doink, um, if you become better at converting, at keeping, at multiplying, and at reactivating, um, you will make a massive amount of difference in your business and in your ability to serve people. So the question, and this is, by the way, a great thing for you to watch. I, I really encourage you to watch what I'm going to do here over the next few minutes, uh, because one of the biggest challenges that we help people overcome is their ability to convert browsers into buyers. All right, and right now you are sitting in some state of readiness, meaning you might be struggling playing an old game. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're already playing the new game. Maybe you, you, this is information that you, we've shared with you and some more of what we're going to share with you, you've already begun to integrate. All right? But I want you to listen and I want you to watch what I do here because this is, by the way, the model that we use to help people to go from where they are to where they want to be and convert browsers to buyers. All right? So I want you to think of two things right now. The first is I want you to look at what is the cost of you continue to play the old game of selling. In frustration, in mistakes, in trial and error, in delay, in lost opportunities, maybe lost customers, um, put a price tag on that. What do you think it's costing you if you continue to play what we would call the old game, the, the shotgun approach, a zillion cold calls, or whatever it may be, all right? And, and put a dollar number to that. By the way, this is exactly, I'm sharing with you exactly how I help people make a good decision in their best interest, all right? Um, we're not going to pitch you on anything here. We're not going to hard sell you on anything here because that would be the antithesis of what the new game is all about. But I want you to, to observe what we're doing because in the observation of what I'm doing here, I'm actually going through the exact model that we will teach you in the new game of selling on how to convert browsers into buyers. Okay? So what's the cost of staying where you are playing the old game? Now, the second part of this is 
what is the value, the payoff, or the benefit to you if you decide to play the new game. Meaning, if you had some new tools, if you had some training, if you had other players who could support you, if you had more of Mark and me, if you had other experts beside you who could guide you and light the way for you, could you actually make a huge difference in your business? Put a value to that. What, what do you think your upside is? Is it a few thousand dollars a year? Is it a few thousand dollars a month? If you really want to be a game changer and lead the field, all right, and you really want to be a player, then I want to invite you to consider joining us in an opportunity that will help you to attract true believers like a magnet. And we've given you one model to do that called Rejection Proof Networking. Um, we've got two or three others. Another model we share with you is called Go Doing, getting really clear about who those true believers are. The second thing we want to show you how to do better is to qualify a person, not just for state of readiness, but also to sift and sort very quickly to find the people we call hungry fish, the people who are ready to buy now because they're searching for what you have. All right? And we have a simple formula that in five minutes or less, you can literally qualify a person's state of readiness and know with a high degree of probability and certainty, is this person a hungry fish? The third step of this process is where the money, uh, we'll call it the money step. This is where you convert browsers into buyers, and we do it using three magic words, all right? And, and the three magic words we call alignment, agreement, and commitment. One of the models I'm using with you right, I just used with you a minute ago, is to help you to see the cost of the problem, compare it to the value of the solution, and then decide, is it smart for me to do something new and different, or am I okay staying where I am right now? The fourth step in this process is to keep customers coming back over and over again so that they buy more from you, so that each additional sale you make or referral that you get creates a new stream of income or creates a higher return on your attraction, qualification, investment. Then the next four steps of this process are how to multiply your ROI. I mentioned earlier one of the strategies we talk about is how do you bump your sale. Or how do you bundle yourself? For example, you're, you're going to see in a minute how we put together an incredible bundle for you that the value of the bundle is so far greater than the value of the individual pieces and that the value of the bundle could produce a multiplied exponential return on investment for you than any one of the pieces individually. How can you begin to bundle something of your products and services maybe with somebody else's, maybe with Mark's, maybe with mine? Then we talk about how to reactivate your dormant customers. Uh, if you've been in business for any length of time, chances are good you have some dormant customers. We show you exactly a three-step formula on how to reconnect with your dormant customers, get them to open up to you and welcome you back, and, and it's part rejection proof, all right, and it's part reactivation. And then the last two pieces to this are the skills, the fundamental building blocks of what you must be continue to do. I've become brilliant on the basics. We put A, B, C because really, if you become brilliant on your A, B, Cs, uh, you will always be in demand. And even if for whatever reason this career doesn't work out for you, if you decide to go into something else, you take those skills with you. Your skills are your building blocks of success and you carry them with you everywhere you go. And then the last piece to this entire uh, puzzle are the tools. The tools that we have, the tools that I've developed, the tools that you can use, the models, the formulas, and scripts that will enable you to become a sales master in your business. So what we've done is we've put together uh, what we consider to be uh, the biggest, best, and most effective way for you to not only play and win the new game of selling, but for you to have a quick return of investment and a forever return on investment. And so here's what we invite you to consider if you're ready to be a game changer and you're ready to get in the game with us. We're going to give you the entire new game of selling billion dollar playbook. We call it a billion dollar playbook because 
it's created three billion dollars of revenue for our clients over the past 20 years. Companies as big as IBM and AT&T and Citibank and Prudential and NetLife, all the way across the board to tabletop and kitchen table home business owners. Uh, it gets You get all the audio training, the coaching, the role play. There's 26 modules. Any one of those modules you could go right into, start today, get a result literally within 24 hours. We did a live webinar with 10 different segments of the new game of selling. You're going to get that as well. Then there's the action guides, the special reports, all the forms, the white papers, the coaching checklists, right? And the entire program is transcribed word for word. So because this is digital and you get immediate access to it, you could literally start using it today and be essentially using it and, and working with it starting uh, this afternoon. But we've talked a lot about rejection-proof networking, and that was really the, the theme of today. So we want to make sure that you not only get the new game of selling, but we're going to give you the entire training of rejection-proof networking a 10-module video training that I did live, uh, the audio material that comes with it, all the coaching and the role play. You're going to get this action guide and the worksheets that are going to help you actually literally define and articulate what you do, why you do it, who you're looking for. Plus, we're throwing in the Take a Millionaire to Lunch strategy that I shared with you and all the FAQs about you know, how do you go about this millionaire lunch? And what if they're not receptive? And what if they don't know anybody? And what if this? And what if that? And we answer every single question so that you are absolutely confident that you can use rejection-proof networking to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime about anything. We also threw in a few other rejection-proof bonuses, all right? Manifesto on how to eliminate rejection, an action guide, which we We'll show you how to hit the go doink bullseye of your target, how to fill your pipeline with hungry fish so that you're talking to the people who are really ready to buy what you have as opposed to people who may be down the road. And then how do you find and carve your personal niche in a business so that you become known as the player of choice, the voice of choice uh, in your industry. We're going to throw in another bonus, a mega bonus. We have a program called Get Mega Referrals. My question to you is, what percentage of your business right now is coming from referrals? You can, and we have had hundreds and thousands of people really get to the point where 60, 70, 80 percent of their new business is coming from their existing customers and referrals. We put this program together called Get Mega Referrals, Powerful Testimonials and Ringing Endorsements. You get all the audio training, the coaching, the role play. You get what we call the five questions of service. I gave you the first one earlier today. Do you remember that question of service? Why did you buy from us? If all you do is ask that one question, your business will change. But if you ask the other four questions of service, I promise you it will lead to more business, more referrals. Uh, we also have the entire referral system, the mega referrals ebook, and the checklist. Okay, so that mega bonus is yours as well. Now, Mark, you decided to add something to this package as well, um, and you decided to give everyone who doesn't already have a month of platinum membership. Do you want to talk about that for a minute or so? Sure. Yeah, I just wanted to give everyone a shot to try out the bank card toolbox, so I will give you your first month's free, which is typically $97, and we've got over 20 videos of the bank card boot camp, reports, case studies, templates, scripts, everything you need to marry what Mitch is talking about into specifics with the bank card industry to be successful. Uh, if you get and take advantage of this offer today, we're in the middle of how to recruit and hire sub-agents, which is, which is a very, very popular program, and we have our next live webinar next Thursday night, which I'll be talking about how to grow your sales force. So uh, enjoy a month on us, and uh, I think you'll find real value in it. Yeah, and that's, that's a really beautiful bonus because it gives people a chance to try it before they buy it, so to speak, right? Yes, sir. Now, now here's, the, here's the big kahuna, all right? And, uh, and I, I'm glad you're still with us because uh, what we're giving you here, literally, is everything I know, everything I've ever done, and everything I ever will do in the field of selling. We have a club called Players Club. It's a private club for our 
customers and our players who want to really become sales masters. And the five, the eight areas that I went over with you, how to attract, qualify, convert, keep, multiply, reactivate, along with skills and tools. Inside of this Players Club, in addition to the new game of selling training program, which you get, you get all of everything else that we have in the Players Club. This is like getting a PhD in selling. All of the resources, all of our tools, uh, we bring experts. We just loaded up an interview with Dr. Robert Cialdini, the guy, the godfather of influence. We, we, I interviewed him a few years ago. I will tell you that interview alone is worth the price of admission. All right? We are going to give the first 49 people, now this is a closed membership, and we, we closed off lifetime membership as of September 1st, but we are opening up lifetime membership. That means for the first 49 people in Mark's audience, in Mark's relationships, who decide to take advantage of this, you will get what we call a ridiculous bonus. Lifetime. Not one month or two months or six months or one year, but lifetime membership to our Players Club on how to win the new game of selling. How to attract, convert, keep, and multiply customers this is a $39 a month or $468 per year value. If you are ready, if you're willing, if you're committed, and you move on this, and you're one of the first 49 people, you'll get lifetime membership to the Players Club. You will never have to pay another dime. You will get everything I know about selling to date and everything we do. Plus, every month I go in and do coaching for the club where you can ask questions, you can get your challenges met, you can get your issues discussed. Uh, we bring in other experts, we bring in guests. This alone, literally, will transform your life and your business, and you'll never, ever have to pay a dime for it. Okay? And so, add this all up. We call it the ridiculous deal. Why? Because truly, if you added up all the 70,000 hours that I have spent learning how to sell, collating that information, bringing it down to the nuggets of wisdom so that you can look at or watch or listen to a 10 or 12 or 15 minute video and be able to go out and make sales that afternoon. You get all of this, the new game of selling digital training, which is a $397 program, plus the three bonuses, rejection proof networking, $149 program, mega referrals training, $149 program, um, Mark's Gracious Bank Card Toolbox Platinum Monthly Membership, $97. And then if you are serious and you're, and you're decisive, you become one of the first 49 people, you get lifetime membership to the new game of Selling Players Club. All of that for a one-time tax-deductible investment of $197. Now, why are we doing this and giving you a one-year money-back guarantee? All right. Well, first of all is Mark and I go back a long way and we wanted to give you something that was literally so ridiculous that you, you literally have to be crazy to pass it up. Okay? And I think you can see we don't, have to, we don't have to accentuate it, but if you could just tap into my selling brain for the next five years, I promise you to make an exponential return on investment. However, we're going to make sure that you have no risk, and we're going to also make sure that you have enough time to use it so you're not pressured to feel like you have to return it or you'll lose your money. So we have presented a very unique guarantee. You have a full year to apply everything in the new game of selling, rejection-proof networking, mega referrals, um, and the Players Club, including every month of coaching. And after one year, if you honestly, honestly can say you didn't get your $197 worth, we'll refund your money. Here's what we ask you to do, though. We ask you to try it for at least 60 days. So we call it the minimum 60-day challenge. We will allow you to refund your money, but you must do it after 60 days because that gives us the certainty that you will actually use it. And we know this. If you use it, it will work. If you apply rejection-proof networking, you will eliminate rejection. If you use the mega referrals 54321 system, you will get more referrals than you've ever gotten before. If you use our strategies on how to qualify, convert, keep, and multiply customers, 
I promise you, you will make an extra sale or two here or there. Maybe you'll make a big sale. All right? And we're willing to back it up with a one-year guarantee as long as you're willing to put the effort in to use it for at least 60 days. And if you're willing to do that, I promise you, you cannot lose with this opportunity. In fact, because everything is digital, you know, we really can't get it back once you have it, except for the Players Club. We, obviously, if you decide to leave, then you won't have access to the Players Club. But, so we're taking the risk. But I will tell you this. Um, we want players. We want people who are serious about their career, who are committed and ready, who are willing to apply some of what we taught today, as well as some of what you'll learn in the new game of selling, and what we'll be coaching you to do every single month for as long as, literally, as long as I live. So, you get in the game now, $197, one time, you get the new game of selling, rejection proof, mega, marks bonus, and lifetime membership. Just go to the new game of selling.com forward slash bank card bonus. Um, and that's the special page that you will have to order through in order to get the entire package. And after one of the first, and one of the advantages of being on the webinar, as opposed to listening to the webinar after the fact, is you can be one of the first 49 people and be sure that you get lifetime membership for the players club, as I will tell you. Um, that is the place to be. So there you have it, the new game of selling.com forward slash bank card bonus. Uh, I welcome you to join us. I look forward to playing the game with you because you're a player. You can change the game, and I'm very much looking forward to being on the field with you again soon. So Mark, what do you think? Thank you very much. We really appreciate the time, and uh, we've got a couple uh, chat here from Linwood. I won't say your whole name, but he says, wow, I get it. I'm ready, willing, committed. Let me be number one of your 49. So <laughs> thank you very much, Linwood. And uh, I personally have used a lot of Mitch's content and a lot of these programs that he's offering at this, uh, at this wonderful price point out in the field and out as a model for working with many of my clients. And uh, it is just absolutely great training material, resource material, and to have Mitch available for calls and to do some coaching with you in the group uh, is just a wonderful, wonderful bonus. So thank you so much, Mitch, and, and I really appreciate the offer that, that you gave everybody. And, you know, we're looking forward. I'll be on some of those calls and looking forward to, to working with, uh, with the new game of selling. Now, do we have any questions? I'd be more than happy to stay to answer some questions, either on the content we've covered or any of the questions about the program itself. I think you know you can see the volume of material, and you have your entire life to make this work. So I'd be more than happy to take some questions to the content or anything else. Yeah, if you've got a chat, if anybody has a question, just type it in the chat box, and I'll be happy to to relay it and pass it on to Mitch, and we can answer any questions that you've got. Uh, I had a question while you were going through your presentation. How long did it actually take you to perfect your rejection uh, proof networking? I mean, was it a was it a pretty short process? I know you you stumbled for years, but once you got the hang of it, did it start to yield results immediately? Well, even when I was imperfect, it resulted in in quick results. So. Um, I've ne I really haven't perfected it. You know, I, I don't shoot for perfection. I shoot for excellence and improvement. And so you start with something, you use it, you hone it, you ask your customers, why did you buy from me? So you can make, you know, easy shortcuts to get the what you do. Uh, but I even to this day, I'm constantly enhancing it. I'm tweaking it. Um, I have four or five different what I do statements uh, depending upon who I'm talking to, you know, depending upon what they're interested in. If I'm talking to a corporate executive who has a thousand salespeople or a big business or a hundred thousand customers, my what I do statement is going to be a little bit different than I might talk to an individual who's looking for some private coaching. Sure. So I, it's a never-ending process, but I'll tell you this, once you have access to the Rejection Proof Networking Worksheets and you watch that 10-part that video, you literally could create your rejection proof statements in a day and have results the next day because it works even in, imperfectly. So it just gets better and better and better, but the first one 
is better for most people than what they've got now. You know, so it's a, it, you never perfect it, but you keep improving it and honing it, and the more input you get from your customers, actually the faster you can create it and the, and the better it will connect with them because you're using customer language rather than trying to figure it all out by yourself. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you, Mitch. I don't see anybody. If anybody's got a question, go ahead and type it in the chat box, but just uh, some comments of thank you, and we appreciate it, and thanks for the time. So we, we certainly hope to uh, see some of you in these coaching calls, and I don't see uh, any other questions right now. Wonderful. Well, Mark, thank you so much for, for giving us the opportunity to share this with your audience. Uh, you know, you were an integral part of this, and I, I really hope and I trust that your audience, uh, the people that you serve, appreciate the value because uh, without you, uh, there would be no me here. So thank you very much. <laughs> well, I appreciate it and we really look forward to having you back again. So thanks for spending the time and that will conclude it for today. Thank you everybody. We appreciate you attending.